We are the remnant of God. Here in the last days, these are the end times, and it's quite obvious, children of God, sons and daughters of God, growing up in Christ, starting out as infants, going into adolescence, then going into um, teen years, and then pressing and striving to go grow into an adulthood relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, it's, it's obvious we're in the, in the last days. I mean, it was obvious to me back in the 80s when George W. H. W. Bush Sr. said, it's time for a new world order. He said uh, there's something about the rule of law instead of the, the rule of the jungle. And, I, you know, that, that puzzled me when he, when he said that. I think he said that in 1984. But when he said the new world order, I was, I was on my toes back then. I thought it was going to happen right then and there. But it's been happening. They've been progressing it for since then and, and even before then. A couple hundred years it's been in the works. That's all that's been in the works. Hitler tried to do it. But now it's it's um it's come it's 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 here. We're living in it. And you know, it's it's kinda sad because people don't know that we're we're actually approaching um the the final uh um you know parts and pieces of the new world order being established. It's hidden right here in plain sight. I mean it's in lots of different pieces, it's like a puzzle. And they're they're, they're pieces. And if you put them all together, then you can see it's, 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 I mean, it's, it's so many different things, so many different pieces. We got, you know, the, 40 years ago, you know, um, there was, you know, there wasn't that many tornadoes. I mean, you rarely hear about a tornado and it was a big deal when you heard about one or even a flood or even an earthquake, you know, it's like, wow, really, man, I'm glad it didn't happen here. You know, storms and stuff like that. The weather was halfway decent back then too. So, and you know, it just wasn't, it wasn't a lot of craziness going on like it is uh, today. If, if there was a, you know, um, an outbreak of some sort of disease or something like that, it was maintained in a local area and, and they, they, and it just stayed there and then it burnt itself out and stuff like that. Now we got, I mean, all over the world, you can, there's, there's YouTube channels that'll, that'll show you what the weather is going on all over the world. I mean, it's ridiculous. You know, it, there's a hundred different types of weather, uh, destructive weather going on all over the world and just about every single country. I mean, hundreds of uh, different um, states and territories and, you know, you don't hear about that on the normal news and stuff like that. You have to research that stuff on YouTube. Check out the, the Two Preachers. It's called the Two Preachers channels. They'll, they'll show you a little bit. And they have, they have other channels also, too, that you can um, see the crazy stuff that's going on. they got fires. I mean, is, how, how is hundreds of fires supposed to be normal um, in different countries all over the world right, at, right now at this moment? How is, you know, hundreds of earthquakes happening each month? Tornadoes, hundreds of tornadoes, heat waves like you would not believe. I mean, it's, you know, 109 degrees in the Arctic? Are you kidding me? 109 degrees. You know it's the end times. It's the last days. There's just too many chaotic things going on. We got, you know, a pandemic virus that's uh, that's going on in, um, across the world and stuff like that. Locust eating farms in China eating locusts. That that was in the that was back there, um, in the in the uh, Exodus days. The children of Israel. The locusts ate up everything causing famines. Now we got famines going uh, that are going up to be spreading across the earth. Locusts in Africa eating up all the people's food and stuff like that. We got floods like you wouldn't believe. Hundreds of floods each month. We got a couple that has just happened. Huge ones that just happened yesterday. Millions of people. Millions of people are being affected going homeless every single day. But you never hear about that stuff. You know, Millions of people. Hundreds of thousands of people daily and that adds up you get a hundred thousand here two hundred thousand there half a million here a million there and then nobody ever hears about this stuff so it's hidden in plain plain sight we got what else do we have earthquakes crazy amounts hundreds each month um hurricanes uh, tsunamis you know going on you know um I can't think of all the crazy things that are 
that are, that are going. There's just so, there's just so many of them. But these are pieces to the puzzles to let us know that we're in the end times, of the last days. The new world order is in effect, guys. It's gonna it's gonna happen soon. I don't know exactly how soon, but it's you can expect it. You know, there's some terrible things that are gonna happen. You know, and that's not what I'm. I'm not trying to spread you know negativity. I'm just, I'm just trying to get people to understand. You know, you don't really want to wait on pressing into the Lord and getting to know the Lord. You know, I mean, if you're gonna do it, you should. You, you, it's time to do it now because you, you know, when you're stressed out in the future, you'll already have your relationship with Him. You'll already have your trust built up in Him, and that takes time and it takes an int intensity to. To get to the point where you trust and believe in God for everything. And you just know that he's going to take care of you no matter what you're going through. You see? You know, a lot of people don't know that, um, that, the, that the Antichrist is very much alive. I don't know if he knows who he is. I certainly don't. And nobody else does. You know, God knows who he is. But yeah, he's a very much. Why, how do I know this? Well, it's a feeling that I have. Because the false prophet is alive, and I know that for a fact. You know, there, there's a man is uh, on this channel, um, Sundar Sivaraj. He's a he's a prophet. He goes he he's uh, he but he's he's on the council of Abraham in heaven. But he's a living, breathing man just like us. But he goes back and forth to heaven. He sees the Lord every single day. You know, he angels and very blessed man. You can check him out on this this, this channel. It's Angel TV. Or you can just go to Angel TV or check out. There's a, there, he's well, very well known on on the internet. But uh, he, you know, um, came back from heaven one day at, at one of these meetings, and and um, told us um, that the false prophet is alive, and he gave his name. Everybody knows him. <laughs> you know, he rules the Vatican, <clears throat> and the the false prophet is is uh, is set up. The, um, the World uh, Council of Churches. That's every single denomination. And that's supposed to happen in the, um, the last days, the end times. And the false prophet wouldn't be alive if it was in the last days. He's a very old man, but he's going to live a, a while longer until uh, his uh, mission is, uh, his, until his uh, destiny is fulfilled, that's for sure. And that's how I know the Antichrist has to be alive, because he's going to be working with the false prophet. So, but this stuff doesn't scare me because I trust and believe in God. And you have to get to that point too because, you know, the um, the one world government, the new world order is here. They're trying to get it going full full force with, uh, with socialism and all that kind of stuff. You know, getting everybody on the same page. You know, Mark of the Beast they can't. They can't wait to do that. People are already getting that thing. It's not called the mark of the beast. They're getting chipped. They're uh, lining up around the block in certain countries to get that thing because it's convenient. You know, they, all you got to do is for flat, wave your hand to, to pay for stuff. You know, get, catch the bus or to buy stuff and stuff like that. And so it's really popular. You know, those people they don't know what they're doing, and um, but uh, one of these days they're going to be asked. You know, you know, would you? Like to buy it, you know, would you like us to activate your, your chip so that you can buy and sell? You won't be able to, to buy and sell unless we can activate your chip. So they'll still have a choice. They have the chip inside of them. But they, um, they'll be asked. And then a lot, a lot of people are just going to say yes. And a lot of people are going to say yes to the market of beasts, including Christians. And I hate to say that, but they will because they don't have faith in God. And a lot of Christians are being lied to, too, by pastors and such, saying it's okay, God knows your heart. But it's not okay, because that, you're selling your soul to the devil, and you've made your choice. You've chosen to serve Satan instead of God, and there's no coming back from that. So, But it's, 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 it's here. It's right there in your face, you know. So you can't deny that we're, uh, we're in the last days. You know, there's a, the World Bank is going to have the cashless society. The cashless society is on the verge right now. China is already virtually cashless, and India is headed to, towards that. Those are the two largest um, countries 
populated most populated countries in the world, China and um, and India. India has over two billion people. I I forget how many um, people that China has, but it's, uh, it's it's up in, it's up in a billion, at least a billion. So there's only there's only seven billion people on the planet. So there's there you go. There's you know two thirds of the world right there, almost cashless. World War Three. You know you can check the check out the playlist in the description area, uh, and you can you you can check out these subjects and check out the playlist on on this channel because all of them all the playlists are aren't in the description area. The tribulation guys, you know we have been taught that the tribulation, um, uh, we won't be here, and I'm not going to try to convince you that, that you won't be here during the tribulation because that's. You know, you're going to either you're going to believe it or you're not going to believe it. But just in case you are is a good way to think of it. Just in case I'm here during the tribulation, I want to have my faith built up. I want to be able to trust in God. I want to be able to believe in God. And, you know, there's a way to do that, You to, to be able to do that. You know, you want to prepare your kids just in case they're here during the tribulation. Tell them not to take the mark of the beast. Teach them that now. You know, um. Because the rapture may be after the tribulation. Everybody is, I mean, even I was taught, you know, that, uh, that I'm going to be raptured out of here before the trouble starts. And that's like, that's a, that's a wonderful thing. It's like, great, fantastic, good. Whew. No more issues, no more problems. Yeah, I'll be out of here and the world is going to go to hell and I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to be cool. You know, that's how I used to think. It's like, man, I can just do, I can skate along the way now. But just in case you are raptured after the tribulation, if you're still here, you know, get your trust and faith in, in God up. You know, um, press into Him. And I'm gonna, I'm, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do this in just a second. But subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up. So that other people around the world can get this information on how to pray and read out of the Bible. Uh, there will be a one world court system one of these days. Instead of the ones that we have all locally and stuff like that. There is a one world economy. See these things that I'm talking about are already written there in stone. They've been planning this stuff for many, 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 many years. Okay. And... They can't wait to implement it, and they're kind of upset that they're being held up right now, uh, the, 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 the one world government. They don't like that idea. See, there's only one country that's holding it back. The other, other countries are, are on board, all but like two or three. But the, the largest, uh, the most powerful country in the world is not giving in to uh, the one world government, and, that, and they're very upset about that. But there's nothing that they can do about it because uh, the the um, president of the most powerful nation, country in the world is not going to let them do it. He knows what's going on. He's very smart. And so, thank God for him. There will be an economic collapse. So, and I hate to tell, I hate to be a bearer of, of if you if you watch what's going on with the economies around the world, you can you can kind of a tell kind of tell. That um, they're not very strong, they're not very stable, and uh, all it takes is a good, strong wind uh, to blow. And uh, once the first one goes, the the next one is going to go, and the next thing they're going to all the economies are going to go just like dominoes. And um, so, the bottom line is uh, our belief. Now, how do we get to ch to the opp to the chance of uh, to opportunity of just to believe in God for everything, you know? Because He is God is ultimately um, has to give permission for everything to happen. So that means that He is in total control. Now He is not doing the, the evil things of this earth. He's allowing these things to happen because they're supposed to happen. Read Revelations. You'll you'll see what I mean. They're supposed to happen, and they're going to happen. And you just so happen to be here. While, uh, while while these things are happening, you you uh, could have been born six thousand years ago, but no, you were born here at the tail end of the last days instead, and that was God's plan. And now you got to find out 
what how you need how you can press into God and get that relationship strong and teach your families and uh, teach your people um, how to survive these last days. You know, well, people are distracted, terribly distracted, and no one is really pressing into God. Nobody prays. Nobody reads the Bible. I'm not talking about you guys because I know you guys do. But people aren't doing that. They're not talking to God. If you're not talking to God during the day, you know, a few times, five, six, seven, eight, you know, once an hour, um, you're not really, you, 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 you're not going to get far. You know, if you, if what you do is you come home and pop, turn on the TV set, just sit down in front of it with food and stuff like that and just be distracted by the news and move Netflix and all this other stuff and the, the, the music and stuff, you know, listening to music. That, that, that doesn't glorify God and you're not worshiping, you're not praising him, you're not you're not feeding yourself. You're going to be just like everybody else that, that's in the world. And then when it comes time to to say no to the mark of the beast, you just might say yes. Now, I'm not talking about you guys, but people will say yes because they won't believe in God that much. They're going to be hungry. To tell somebody that they won't be able to pay their rent, that they're going to be out on the streets, that they're going to be that they're not going to be able to eat. They're not going to be able to, have to have, buy gas for their cars. Their kids are going to be hungry. Well, yeah, lots of people are going to, t- including Christians, are going to take it. They say, yeah, give that thing here. But that's a, that's a huge, that's the last mistake that, a, that anyone will make. Because that is the final test. So now you see why we need to keep pressing into God daily and a lot. And if you got to have the gift of tongues, definitely use it all day long if you can. You can do driving down the street. You know, walking down the street at work. Just keep your voice down and let God speak through you because that's the Lord Jesus Christ um, speaking. Imagine him inside of you talking. He's doing things all over the world, doing things for your family with that prayer. And you, doing things for you. And you are changing when you speak in tongues. You might not feel like it, but you'll notice down the line that you are doing things differently. You're thinking differently. You're, you're asking yourself the right questions, and you're responding differently to, to, to situations that you did before. Worshiping, praising him, you know, for 15 minutes, half an hour a day, hour, you know, reading 15 minutes a day or an hour or whatever, you know, letting God talk to you. You know, talking to God as, as, with respect like he's your father and asking him questions and then being able to sit and wait for the answer. Asking the Lord to come through your, your bedroom wall and talk to you and sit down and have a seat and to, and to help you, give you some counseling I know how, to, how to how to get ready for the future and uh, ask him about what eternity is going to be like. You know, what you ask him what his plans are for you. you know, ask him how he sees you. It, having a relationship with, with God, you know, it's a personal thing. And, you know, get away from the crowd, get away from the people. Tell them to... Do not disturb me. I'll come out when I'm done. This, this is my time. And it's, 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 you cut out as many distractions as you possibly can. You know, but no matter what you do, just keep pressing into God. It doesn't matter. You got to, you know, wh- whatever you're doing, press into God. He'll, if you don't like what you're doing, tell, ask God for help. Say, Lord, I don't like do what I'm doing here, but I love you and I, I need your help. Help me. You know, talk to him like a, like a, um, you know, like a father, like a, like a son or a daughter to a father, because that's who he is. And then watch things happen for you. Watch, watch, watch those things become less desirable to you, you know, and because you're creating your relationship with him and God is hearing you and he's seeing how serious that you are because you, you know, if, because you will be used in the future. God's, I mean, there's going to be a huge harvest coming in. Someone has got to be able to teach that harvest how to survive. And it could be you. But he can't use you if you don't have any faith. He can't use you if, you don't, if, you're, not, if you're not ready to be used. You see, time is up. You can't be wasting time anymore. You know, um, we just don't have it as a luxury anymore. And, you know, your personal relationship with God... Is it should be a selfish thing that no one should get in the way of, you know, because 
In the end, that's really all that's going to matter anyway. Keep praying for your loved ones, you know, and, and believe God. And, uh, and, trust, and trust them as much as you can. Because the ultimate goal is to trust them every, uh, a little bit more every minute, every hour, every day. To be able to look back to last year and say, yeah, I definitely uh, trust him more than I did a year ago or a month ago, a week ago. And don't forget the things he's done for you already that you, you've already asked for. And he's already given you. See, we have, we have a short uh, memory, memory. We forget. You know, it's like the children of Israel. God delivered them out of Egypt, and you know He did all He did the ten plagues on on Egypt, and He get He gave the people food every single day, and water was coming out of rocks, and they had a cloud over them and stuff, a fire at night to keep them warm, and it kept them cool during the air conditioning during the day, and He led them and guided them, and they still went one day without food, and they was they were, you know, they didn't believe. Because they, they forgot all the things that God had just, I mean, he parted the Red Sea for them. How can you forget that? That God, and then the, it kind of parted the Red Sea so you can go through it with a million people or three million people going through the Red Sea. And then the sea swallows up the people that are chasing them, the enemy. How do you forget that? How do you forget that God has got a cloud over you that is keeping you cool right now? See, that's what we do. We forget. God's going to be doing these things again for the remnant, the sons and daughters of God. These things that that were that are written in Exodus, those well, that, those things I just talked about, I mean, they're going to be they're going to be done again. That was just, you know, um, the, 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 that was written for today also too. Though that was an example, but in the future, you if you're still here, you will see it with your own eyes. If you're here another decade. You you possibly see these things with your own eyes, yeah. Because God is coming back. He's, the Lord is coming back. He's going to come back in the clouds. Everybody's going to see him. Everybody will see him. And um, then he's going to set up his millennial reign here on earth for one thousand years, and you can be a part of that. You can either be in heaven in paradise, or um, you know, chilling out for the thousand years and doing what you guys do. Or you can be here on earth with the Lord, working with God and all the other saints, rebuilding the earth because the earth is going to be pretty tore up after that. But you can be a part of that. And you, with a supernatural body and uh, being able to go places at the speed of thought and um, still learning and growing and, and still training for to rule the universe with God. For eternity. So you can keep going. You see, it's not going to be over. You won't be sitting around playing the harp. It's not going to be boring. Eternity is not definitely not going to be boring. There's billions of planets out there. The guy created every last one of them. It's, there's probably billions of civilizations out there, too. You ever watch Star Trek? Well, that stuff is real. You ever watch Star Wars? That stuff is re real. But the Star Wars thing where, where, they're, where they're battling, and that that's more like... Um, the angels of God, uh, when they ba uh, battled Satan and his the fallen angels, and they tore up the universe because because uh, they were they were at war, intergalactic war at one time. So, but you see all the different species and all the different types of people on these on these shows on these um, um, sorry, what they call them science fiction shows. Those people are, you know, th those are examples of what we're going to find throughout the universe. And you can be a part of going out and doing whatever God has to, to do. We're going to be rulers, kings and queens. So I know this stuff I call is far-fetched. A little bit of it's my imagination, but some of it is real. Because I learned it from um, from people that have been there, prophets that have been there, that, that walk with, that see Jesus every single day. I mean, literally see him physically. And, been to heaven and stuff, and they so they've got first hand, hand knowledge of this stuff. Neville Johnson is another one, Sundar Severaj and Neville Johnson. They're on this uh, playlist on this channel, too. Those guys are definitely worth listening to. If you don't learn something from them, I tell you what, you'll learn quickly, if anything. 
and it'll wake you up and uh, let you know what's going on because they've already prophesied Neville he passed away and now all these prophecies are coming to pass right this minute so, so and even Sundar Severan she's a prophet and there the stuff that he says it is just not it'll blow you away Angel TV and then Neville Johnson with the Academy of Light now um Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 through 14. We're going to pray this. I'm going to, I'm going to pray, um, read this and pray this for you guys. And this, this should help you to get your relationship strong with God. I mean, because that's all that really matters is nothing else should really matter. Everything else should come secondary. Because once you have your relationship strong with God, you're going to get everything that you need anyway. You're going to believe in God. You're going to trust in him. And nothing will bother you because you'll know that God, you'll, you just know you know, you have the knowledge that God is in total control of your life and he cares for you and he loves you very much as an individual and he ain't going to let nothing happen to his child. Ready? Mm -hmm. Ask, Ask and it shall be given. given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened open unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth and he that seeketh findeth and he that knocketh it shall be opened. Or what man is it that you who of his son asketh, will he give us the home? Or if he asks a fish, will he give him a serpent? If he then, being evil, know how to give, give good gifts unto your children, children. how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good to them to them that ask him? Therefore, all things whatsoever ye would do that man should do to you, do you even unto them. For this is the law and the prophets. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way, that leadeth to destruction, and many be there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, that leadeth unto light, and few there be that find it. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for dying on the cross for us. Lord, we love you. And we thank you for forgiving us of everything we've ever done wrong. We live in repentance, Lord. Now we're clean. And you don't even remember our sins. And we love you. We thank you for that. And Father, we ask. He says right here, you, your law, which you wrote, he says, ask and it shall be given to you. And Lord, we ask for better relationships with you. And we need them quickly. Help us to figure out how to get better relationships with you, whether it be talking to you 24-7, asking you to be, uh, be in our dreams tonight, Lord, and every night. You are more than welcome to be in our dreams. Be, be with us when we first think, for, in the first thing in the morning, Lord Jesus Christ, and help us to be able to talk to you before we even get out of bed and just continue talking to you throughout the day, Lord Jesus, and to speak in tongues as much as we can and to practice that because we know that it is the perfect prayer. Because it's you, talk, you talking and everything happens uh, when, you, uh, when you pray. And that is, that is you using me, using us as vessels to uh, get things done all around the world, Lord Jesus. And so, Father, that's what we ask for. And, then we, and, 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 uh, and we see, that's what we seek after. And you say right here, and we, we'll find it. And you said to knock and it shall be open. And this is what we're, we're knocking on your door, Lord Jesus. Open the door for us and come in. Open, a, open up the door, Lord Jesus. You are welcome to, 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 to come in and sit down and talk with us, Lord. And show us your way and teach us your way, Lord Jesus. We, we, we need it. We need, your, we need faith. We need to. We need your trust. We need to be able to trust like you. We need to be able to believe like you, Lord. Times are crazy, and we we need this. We we love you, and we we've been just show us how to get there individually, whether it be praising, worship, reading, you know, fasting, you know, talking to you all day. However, you know, worshiping you, you know, for everyone that asketh, receiveth, and you know. That's a beautiful thing. And we believe that. I believe this. I know this is true. Help us to know, every one of us, to know that this is true. Because you wrote it. It must be true. 
This is your law. You don't break your own laws. You don't you don't allow anyone to break the laws, Lord Jesus Christ. So I know you don't break them. And you're not a liar, Lord Jesus. And he that seeketh findeth. So we want personal relationships with you to 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 expand with inside of us because you're inside of us. Help clean, help us to clean up our tabernacles, our temples, Lord Jesus Christ. We welcome you to help us in every single way, Lord, to show us how to do this. Give us instruction, counsel us, wisdom, knowledge and understanding, the spirit of the Lord, the fear of the Lord, the power of might and counsel, Lord Jesus. Is what we need and we're knocking. Lord Jesus, open the door, Father. Open the door for us and let us step in, Lord Jesus Christ. We want to be in your presence, Lord Jesus. We need to have better relationships with you all the time. Our relationships need to grow with you every day, Lord Jesus. Because you said, or what man is there of you whom uh, his son asks for bread will give him a stone. Father, we want bread, Lord Jesus. You will not give us a rock. Give us the bread, Lord Jesus. Give us our daily bread, Lord Jesus, in the fullness thereof, Lord Jesus. Or he that asks for a fish, will he give him a serpent? Lord, give us fish and bread, Lord Jesus Christ. We bind the serpent in Jesus' name, Lord. Cast him down underneath our feet where it belongs forever and ever, Lord Jesus. And never let the serpent come near us again, all of them, every unclean spirit in Jesus' name. We want to eat the fish and the bread in your presence, Father. We want to do it with you. You're welcome to sit down with the bread and the fish and eat with us, Lord Jesus, and talk with us and teach us, Lord Jesus, and show us your way. Yes, Lord, if you being evil, yes, we, looking at our past, Lord Jesus, we've done some terrible things. And, you can, and, and we are that, Lord Jesus. Know uh, now to give good gifts to your children and we, we, you know, us being bad, you know, even when I was bad, I still treated my kids well, well, Lord Jesus Christ. And that's what you, that's what you do. You should say, how much more shall your father, which is in heaven, uh, give good things to them that ask him? See, so you're, you're very merciful. You're very kind. You're very gracious, very loving father. And we thank you for this, Lord Jesus, because we, we certainly don't deserve this relationship with you, but we need it. Lord, we strive for it, Lord Jesus. We have to have it. There's no, there's no way in the world we're going to be able to make it without it. Our, our faith is is, is 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 important to us. Help us to remember all the wonderful things that you have done for us, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us write them, write them down on a pen and paper. We can start with breakfast, Lord. We can start if we have jobs, if we have, that we have jobs, that we woke up this morning, that we're saved. Lord Jesus, there's so many things you've done for us that you did save us because we were all headed into the wrong direction. We were headed down, Lord Jesus. And Father, we, we're all striving to enter into the straight gate. It's, we we want to go straight towards you, Lord Jesus, because wide is, uh, wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And we are going the opposite way, Lord Jesus. We want to go straight to you in, instead, Lord Jesus. We don't want to be with the with the crowd. We want to walk the tightrope into to you, Lord Jesus, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth to life. You are our life. Life step into me. Life step into your your people today. Father, we love you and we thank you. Feed, feed shelter and give fresh water to everyone who needs it today. Save every soul across the earth. And keep everyone once they're saved. Once you start feeding, sheltering, and giving the fresh water to people, never stop. Pour out your spirit upon all flesh today, Lord, and let every single person, every single being know that you love them very, very, very much. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we honor you, praise you, and give you all the glory forever. And we thank you for hearing our prayer. Amen. 
subscribe to the channel and it's a thumbs up ministry so give a thumbs up so others can learn how to pray and read out read up out of the bible and have a great day in the mighty name of jesus christ